just waiting for a little bit of a confirmation. It's all cleared up now, so we're underway. The boys are making their way out into the arena for uh, the first semi. And here they come. And uh, a terrific lineup. I mean, it's uh, so competitive, so little to choose. 270 metres this track, so so little. You really have got to be on top of your game when you make decisions out there. Crick's ridden nicely. The Australians have had a smashing night in truth. He ended up on nine points. Really going along well. And could we see um, uh, three Australians in the final tonight? That really would be quite remarkable. But um, uh, here we go then. Tense times. Really looks like he's already ready. He's on that inside gate. He'll have the red helmet colour as a consequence. Gate number two in blue is Jason Doyle. Gate three in white is Max Frick. And on the outside is Freddie Lingren in yellow. Can he produce there? I just sense with the track being freshly prepared, it could be a touch difficult, but... I think they did leave dirt up the top, though. Yeah. They haven't brought it all down, so Lingren certainly does have a chance around that first turn from the outside. Yeah, and he's the sort of guy that can utilise it. He's uh, pretty sharp out there, that's for sure. The Doyle's been making good starts throughout the evening, finishing on 13 points from his first five rides. Dooley's been a little up and down, but uh, still pretty solid. He's had uh, a couple of wins. He's had a last place, but the uh, last couple of rides weren't so impressive. But nonetheless, he's there. Gets away, Dooley will be hard to beat. Oh, yeah. Carries so much speed. Plenty of gardening going on there on the inside by Dooley. Doesn't want the ground out. When that exhaust pipe, the silencer at the back end of the bike touches the ground, it just kills your momentum away from the tapes and could cost you dearly. So with the rats on the start and the temperate track, Scotty Nichols pointed that out earlier on. It really is crucial. Here we go. Riders coming forward. Business end of the meeting it is now. First semi-final in the Narodovi. Grand Prix of Poland. Here we go then. Away we go. Boys on the inside of Matic. What a run to the corner from Doyle. Oh, Here start. we go. Freddie Lingwin getting in the action. Fury! in second place, but Doyle fouls himself from the outside. Oh, oh Lingwin out of shape. beauty has got out to get out of the throttle. Oh, my goodness, that was chaos in turns three and four in the opening lap. But Doyle's out in front, and somehow, Freddie Lingwin's in the second place. Oh, it got so tight on that opening lap down the back straight. Again, another small mistake from Freddie Lingwin, and Max Frick won't... Uh, won't ask, he won't need a second invitation if he makes another one, but Jason Doyle, meanwhile, is checking out up front, really got plenty of speed, riding very, very well. Got a feeling Dan Beauty may have had a bike problem on the first lap. I thought I heard a bit of a misfire. Well, bad luck for Dan Beauty. Got to say, that's bitterly disappointed for him, but he's got to believe that Jason Doyle on fire here tonight. He wins the first semi-final and Lingren's through as well. It was chaos on the opening lap. Going through turns three and four. I can't believe they all stayed on. Freddie Lingwell was on the back wheel. Bewley had to get out of the way. My goodness gracious me. Bewley and Frick missing out. But Doyle's having a terrific night and he's in the final once again. Two consecutive finals in the first two Grand Prix for the Australian. Doyle through. Freddie Lingwell joining him in the final. Max Frick and Dan Bewley just missing out in that uh, first semi final tonight was quite a mix up there and I just sense it there's no doubt it hampered Bewley big time yeah yeah big time he actually had made a decent start at the first turn around the inside looks like he's going to get there but uh, just runs across I don't think he realised at that point that Jason Doyle had generated so much speed up there and uh, at that point there Freddie Lingwood dives up the inside then picks up a rut and the bike lifts does very well to control it the way he did and Max Frick uh, looks like he's going to get a run up the inside, but uh, yeah, Dan Bewley does have to get off the gas, and then he pulls that was the locker. Hard. That yeah. was hard on him there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, very much so. I he actually he was... had made a mistake, I think, at the same time. Max Frick looks like he's going to pay uh, attention to <laughs> Lingren's bike there, and then he clatters into the side of him. But Jason Doyle, once again, just like Croatia two weeks ago, making the final.